Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm starting a new series called Represent, where I'm going to delve into a very specific regional food or culture. And today, I'm doing Cincinnati. So a while back, Austin very kindly sent me these items, and they're examples of Cincinnati chili. So let me step back a little bit and talk about Cincinnati chili before I describe these two types of chili. Cincinnati style chili is not like chili con carne from Texas. It's a chili more like a chili sauce, kind of similar to Rhode Island, New York's wiener dogs or Coney Island dogs, that kind of meat sauce that's applied to hot dogs or Coney Island dogs. So this chili is applied to hot dogs, but also spaghetti. I've never had chili sauce or chili for that matter on top of spaghetti. Austin tells me there are two big brands, the biggest one being Skyline Chili, it's the most famous. It's a restaurant chain in Cincinnati and the Cincinnati area, and it sponsors all the major ball teams in that area. This is its competitor, Gold Star Chili. Now they sponsor the Bengals apparently, so the origin story, according to Wikipedia, is that in the 1920s, when Macedonian immigrants came to the US, they created this type of chili sauce that uses all kinds of different spices that include cinnamon, allspice, cumin, and it has a little bit of sweetness to it. Some people say the recipe contains a little bit of chocolate, but of course Skyline and I'm sure Gold Star are proprietary. They're never ever gonna give you their recipe, but that's what's supposed to be unique about it. And as you can see from both of these photographs, it is often served with copious amounts of cheese. <laughs> Now, apparently there's a particular way to order this when you go to a restaurant. So it's called the way system. If you want your spaghetti two ways, that means you're just going to have the spaghetti and the chili sauce. If you want it three ways, then you're going to have it spaghetti, chili sauce, and cheese. If you want it four ways beans, that means you have spaghetti, sauce, beans, and cheese. If you want it four ways onion, that means you're going to have spaghetti, sauce, cheese, and onion. And if you want it five ways, that means you want everything. So that's sort of the nomenclature when it comes to ordering your chili spaghetti. And both of these look like I can microwave them just as they are. Oh yeah, three, see, even on the back of here, it says three way, four way, and five way. And you can have it as a cheesy coney, which is a hot dog with bun and the sauce, onion, and a hint of mustard with mild cheddar cheese. I'm gonna open the gold star chili first. Ooh. And just as described, it's much soupier than chili in a can, like Hormel chili. Look at that, much soupier. Mmm, I can definitely smell the cinnamon. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and microwave it for about a minute and a half. La la la, I'm going to put a paper towel over this because it's gonna make everything gross. Open, whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is chili spaghetti. It actually has the spaghetti in it. Look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you get some, oh, there's my microwave. I was envisioning this just as being the sauce and I would put it on top of spaghetti, but this contains the spaghetti. All right, I'll go with it. <laughs> this one does not smell nearly as cinnamon as the other one, but maybe that's because it contains the pasta as well. All right, I'm gonna go warm this one up. Did you see my cinnamon roll and chili video? Yeah, this smells just like that. So what I did in that video is I took Florence Weiss's great homemade cinnamon roll recipe and I topped it with chili. A lot of people were very incredulous about the idea and so I thought, well, why not? And that makes me think perhaps that that combination of cinnamon roll and chili, yeah, might have something to do with this style of chili sauce. Eat my bowl. Whoa, whoa, ah, it's hot. I have to say in terms of color, Gold Star looks a little bit more appealing. It's a little bit redder and oranger in color. While Skyline's a little browner. And Skyline does not smell nearly as cinnamony as Gold Star. Granted, I'm not comparing apples to apples here. This is the pre-made stuff. So I'll put the pre-made stuff aside while I show you how to make the classic chili spaghetti. And now we're gonna top it with cheese, lots of cheese. Now this is mild cheddar, it's white. I know it's supposed to be orange, but work with me here, people, please. Thank you. That looks amazing already. Now I'm gonna have mine a four ways onion because I love onions. Top that on top. Beautiful. Oh, 
All right, Cincinnatians, is it true that you're supposed to eat this with a knife and a fork and that you're not supposed to twirl it? Is that true? That's what I read. So I'll eat it like I was told. <laughs> it seems weird to eat spaghetti without twirling it, but I don't know. Here we go. Eat the lucky moss. Mmm. I like that. I was told that this is sweet, but it's not sweet at all. It's like a tomato-based meat sauce with a little bit pullback on the tomato. It's not so tomatoey, but a good amount of cinnamon in there. Very distinctive and a little bit of cumin too. Mmm. Got a little onion on that bite. That is delicious. With a little bit of onion, it reminds me a little bit more like a chili dog. And of course the cheese is in there and that just makes everything richer and tastier. Really love it with the raw onion in there because it gives a little bit of crunch and you get that nice little sulfury oniony bite in there. Mm-hmm. Because it has that spice combination, it reminds me a little bit of like garam masala. It has a little bit of kind of that spice combination. Now let's try the pre-made Skyline version. Now this looks very, very different to what I just prepared, but it still needs the treatment of cheese and onion. Hmm. Mmm. That one's good too. The texture is very different. I much prefer the texture of the fresh. Like all canned pastas, the pasta just gets so mushy because they're canned. So there's not much texture to this. It's a little bit gluey and you get the sauce, but you don't get any bite of the pasta. In terms of flavor, it is very different. The flavor, well, there is a bit of cinnamon in there. It's not as pronounced by any means. This is a rather unfair comparison because I'm not just comparing sauces. I'm comparing a pre-made dish with a sauce. But I have to say, I like the flavors of the Gold Star better. There's more cinnamoniness and a little bit more unique flavor. This to me tastes a little bit more similar to our New York system wiener dog sauce that we have here in Rhode Island, which is a kind of chili meat sauce, again, kind of based in Mediterranean flavors. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't taste as spicy as the other one, which I really like. Again, the addition of the cheese and the onion are welcome. I really like that. Okay, now let's have a Coney dog. Plain hot dog bun and a hot dog. And I'm gonna top it with a little bit of mustard. Oh, that's so much fun. Onion. Meat sauce. Lots and lots of shredded cheese. I like to grate my own cheese. I think it's superior. All right, here we go. That's really good. I really like the addition of cinnamon in there. It really gives the sauce a little uniqueness and it makes it much more like a sauce. It's not like you're just adding some additional protein goo on top. It does something there. It's a condiment. It's delicious. Again, the combination of the onion in there with a big crunch and then you've got the cheese, which isn't quite melted. And I like that because you can see it as cheese and it's not just another kind of goo layer. It's kind of crumbly, but it has that little cheddary a bite to it. You've got your super, super soft hot dog bun in there, and then you've got the little snap of the hot dog in there. Delicious, scrumptious. Mm-hmm, it's really good. Mm-hmm, mm. This hot dog makes me want to continue with my weenies series. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the playlist up above where I was exploring international weenies or hot dog recipes from all over the world. Very interesting combinations, but yes. This definitely makes me want to revisit that series. So there you have it, Cincinnati style chili on spaghetti and on a hot dog. 
big thanks to Austin for sending me these items and for making this video possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. So let me know down in the comments what you want to see in future Represent episodes or if there's anything you'd like to see me cook or taste. And yeah, share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! <laughs>